The movie begins with a woman burning in a fire. Then we see him place a crystal and the destruction that was caused by the fire reverses. Mother wakes up and starts calling for him. She looked for him everywhere but couldn't find him. She went out and he came from behind and kissed her. Mother is painting the wall. She decided to paint it yellow and put a yellow dye. When she touched the wall, she visualized a beating heart in its walls. At night, Mother is sitting looking at him as he is trying to come up with ideas to write. Then someone knocked on their door and they both went to open it. A guy was standing there and him invited him to come in. Mother was not happy about it, but he got in anyway and she went to make tea. While Mother was preparing the tea, she suddenly felt nauseated and dropped the cup, causing it to shatter. Him asked if she was okay, and she told him she was fine. The guest man offered Mother an alcohol to put in her tea, but she declined. Then she asked about his reason for being there, and he told her that he was told he could find a room here. Him explained that man thought their house was breakfast and bed. Mother, not liking the vibe, stared at him. Man, sensing the tension, got up to leave, but him insisted that he stay for the night. Man agreed and went to get his bag. When man left to get his bag, mother expressed her concerns, pointing out that they didn't know him. However, him dismissed her worries, saying that he couldn't just ask man to leave. Man returned with his bag and a cigarette, lighting it inside the house. However, mother told him that smoking was not allowed in the house. Mother went to the basement to get linen, and when she came back, him and man were in the library. Him was showing man his works, and man was amazed, expressing that he was a fan. Then man noticed a crystal and reached out to touch it, but him quickly picked it up, telling man that it was delicate. Him proceeds to tell the story of the crystal to man. Him explained that the crystal was a special gift he found in the ashes after losing everything in a fire. This discovery gave him the strength to start creating again. He then mentioned meeting Mother, who breathed life back into every room and redid all the details. Man began coughing hard, and him told Mother he would be up shortly, staying with Man downstairs. Mother went to their bedroom. Waking up in the middle of the night, she noticed him was not there. She went downstairs and saw that Man was also not on the bed. She found smoked cigarettes in a bowl. Hearing man vomiting, she went to the bathroom and saw him holding man while he vomited into the toilet. Mother asked if everything was okay, and him explained that man had drunk a lot. Man was shirtless, and mother noticed a wound on his side. Just as she was about to mention it, him asked her to give them privacy, and she left. Mother felt sick again and went to the toilet. She took a glass and some medicine and drank it. The next morning, mother was cooking breakfast when him came in, greeted her, and kissed her. She asked about the previous night, and he told her he was so excited that he couldn't sleep, especially because man had appreciated his work. Man came into the kitchen and lit a cigarette on the stove. She asked how he was doing, and he told her he was great. They heard the doorbell, and mother went to open the door. She saw a woman standing outside, and man came from behind and went out exclaiming, You made it! He went up to her, kissed her, and invited her in. They all sat down and started talking about their lives and families. Man and his wife, woman, showed them a picture of their son and asked why they didn't have kids. Mother explained that she wanted to finish the house first. She mentioned that him was working on a new piece. Him told man and woman that they could stay as long as they wanted, but mother didn't like the idea. Man and woman went to the kitchen to make a call because they couldn't find a signal on their cell phone. Mother asked him how he could invite them to stay without consulting her, and he said he didn't think it was a big deal. Then he left, telling her he had to work. Woman brought lemonade while Mother was painting the wall. Woman complimented Mother's work on the house and asked for a tour. Mother explained the challenges of restoring the house, especially after damage to the treads, railing, and skylight. Woman questioned why Mother didn't just build a new house, but Mother explained that it was him's home, and she loved the work. Woman then asked Mother about not wanting kids, noting Mother's reaction earlier. She advised Mother to have kids, suggesting it strengthens a marriage. Mother, feeling uncomfortable, said she needed to get back to work. Woman apologized if she was too forward, and mentioned that every relationship has its issues, especially with a significant age difference between partners. Woman decided to go upstairs to where him works but mother told her not to. 
Despite the warnings, woman started to go up the stairs, and mother followed her, catching her by the hands and telling her that him doesn't want anyone there without him. As they stood on the stairs, staring at each other, the two men came downstairs, putting on their coats and preparing to leave. Mother asked where they were going, and they said they were going hiking. Woman expressed a desire to do laundry, and mother led her to the laundry room. The machine already had clothes in it, and woman began to dump them all on the floor. Mother came over to pick them up. During this process, woman criticized mother's underwear, suggesting that she needed to do better. Mother went to the kitchen and found it in disarray, with lemon peels scattered around and items out of place. She went looking for woman and knocked on her door, but there was no answer. She entered and found that woman wasn't there, but the water was running. She turned it off and noticed toilet paper strewn about. After flushing it down the toilet, she discovered that the toilet was clogged. She picked up a plunger to unclog it and found a tiny animal causing the blockage. As she plunged, the animal burst and blood came out, but it was flushed away with the water. As mother was about to leave, she stumbled upon man's bag. She turned back to see what it was and noticed the tip of a picture sticking out. She pulled it out and saw that it was a picture of him. She quickly put it back and went out. Then she saw a woman heading towards him's office and she ran to her, insisting that she couldn't go in there. Mother went to the office and escorted woman out of the room. The guys returned and man was coughing heavily. Woman took him to another room while mother took him to the kitchen to tell him about the photo. She suggested that man didn't come here by accident. Him revealed that man had told him everything. He came here because he was dying and wanted to meet him before he passed away. As they were talking about this, they heard a voice from upstairs and went there. They saw the crystal shattered all over the floor and he screamed at man and woman to get out of the room. Him was nailing a piece of wood on the door of the library. Mother asked him what he was doing and he told her that they could never go back in. She informed him that she was kicking them out and went to their room to ask if they were ready to leave. However, woman slammed the door in her face, saying she needed to check on her husband. Two boys showed up at the house, revealed to be the sons of man and woman. The brothers were arguing about their father's will, and the disagreement escalated into a physical fight. During the altercation, one brother struck the other with a doorknob, inflicting a fatal wound. Him, man, and woman rushed their bleeding son to the hospital, but unfortunately, the boy did not survive. While cleaning up the blood, mother noticed damage on the floor and went to the basement to check. She saw the blood from upstairs dripping down, revealing the shape of a small door on the wall. Intrigued, she followed the trail of blood and broke through the wall, discovering an iron door that led to a hidden tank of heating oil behind the basement walls. Hearing a sound, mother went upstairs and found a shredded piece of paper on the floor. As she bent down to pick it up, one of the sons called out to her from behind. Startled, she turned around. He asked with a tone of disbelief, they leave you alone? and hurried away, picking up his wallet. She went to the phone to call 911, but then she saw him standing there, and he told her that the son had died. The next morning, mother woke up to the sound of people entering the house. She asked him what was going on, and he explained that he had allowed man and woman to bring friends and family to mourn their son. She went downstairs and tried to offer her condolences to woman, but woman gave her a cold look and turned away. Woman expressed her thanks only to him for the hospitality, while being condescending towards mother. As more people arrived, him, man, and woman each made a speech. Meanwhile, mother was busy trying to clean up after the guests. She stumbled upon woman again and offered her condolences, but woman continued to act rudely towards her, saying that mother couldn't understand how it feels because she doesn't have a child. Mother noticed a couple entering her room and went there to ask them to leave. Initially, they ignored her, but when she insisted that it was their room and they needed to leave, the couple got up and left. Mother came downstairs to find strangers painting the house and many guests drunk. In the kitchen, she encountered a woman sitting on the sink and told her to get off. A man approached Mother, asking her to go for a walk, but she declined. Despite her refusal, he persisted. Meanwhile, the woman sat on the sink again, and this time, a man joined her, both wiggling and assuring mother that the sink was fine. When the man grabbed mother by the arm, she demanded he let go, and he insulted her before releasing her. 
Suddenly, the sink broke, causing the plumbing in the walls to rupture in water to flood the house. Mother screamed at everyone and demanded that they all leave. After everyone left, Mother started cleaning. Him arrived, and they began arguing. Mother felt that Him didn't value her opinions, while Him insisted he was trying to bring life into the house. Mother expressed her frustration, feeling that Him was neglecting their relationship and not showing her enough affection. Then Him came to kiss her, and she kissed him back. The next morning, Mother announced that she somehow knew she was pregnant. This revelation sparked inspiration in Him, who felt that all the people, events, and the news of the baby had provided him with the right inspiration to write. After several months, Mother, now visibly pregnant, was folding baby clothes when she felt the baby kicking. Excited, she ran to tell him, but found him standing at the door holding a paper, having just finished writing. Mother read the piece and was deeply moved by its beauty. While she believed she was the first to read it, him had already sent it to his publisher, who called to say they loved it and decided to publish it. Mother prepared a special evening for just the two of them. When him arrived, she went to get bread. That's when she saw a man standing by the door. Shocked, Mother ran to tell him, but a crowd of people were outside, and he was speaking with them. She asked who they were, and he told her they had come to see him. Devastated, Mother went back inside. She couldn't stop imagining blood on the spot where man and woman's son had died. When she stepped outside again, she saw that even more people had arrived, with cameras flashing, and him was signing autographs. He came over to take her to the crowd, but she told him she didn't want to. She asked if the baby was not enough for him. He told her to give him a minute and went back to his fans. The situation escalated as more people began entering the house, reaching a point where mother could no longer control the crowd. Some individuals started stealing items, claiming they needed to have something belonging to him, and fought over these possessions. Groups of worshippers began receiving marks in a religious manner from him, adding to the chaos. The atmosphere became increasingly chaotic. The police arrived and attempted to arrest mother, but him intervened to stop them. In the process, an officer used pepper spray, which burned both him and mother. With burning eyes, Mother tried to escape the chaos. The house had turned into a war zone. Mother experienced contractions as the chaos ensued. A police officer attempted to assist her but was tragically shot in front of her. Amidst the turmoil, him took her upstairs to the study and closed the door, shutting out the rest of the chaos. In the relative calm of the study, Mother gave birth to a boy. Suddenly, the house fell silent and he opened the door to see. He saw the people put gifts by the door. He showed it to Mother. She asked what they were doing and he told her that they are waiting. She asked him to make them leave, but him comes back saying that he doesn't want them to go and that they all want to see the newborn. Mother says no. She refuses to give the child to him. They sit for a couple of days right there staring at each other. Mother falls asleep. Him takes the baby and gives it to the people. The people carelessly pass the infant around as if it were an object at a rock concert, and then, shockingly, the baby's neck snapped. Mother reached the altar to find her baby's corpse, or rather, a part of it. The rest of it was being eaten by the people. In a state of utter devastation and rage, Mother grabbed a broken shard of glass and began attacking the people around her. In response, the crowd turned on her, brutally beating her and hurling insults. Him intervened, asking the people to back off. He then told Mother that they needed to find a way to forgive the people, suggesting that forgiveness would help them understand their wrongdoing. This suggestion infuriated Mother even further. Mother caused the floor to crack open. She headed to the basement towards the tank of oil and confronted him with the words, You never loved me. You just loved how much I loved you. I gave you everything. You gave it all away. She then used the oil to blow up the house, destroying everything and everyone in it, except for him. As the house burned, Mother was consumed by the flames, mirroring the fate of the previous Mother in the opening scene. Holding the burnt remains of Mother, he asked Mother for her love and, in a final act, ripped out her heart as she turned to ashes. Inside the heart, he found a crystal, similar to the one in the first scene. Placing the crystal initiated a reversal of all the destruction caused by the fire. From the ashes, another mother was born, awakening and calling out to him. The film concludes with this scene, indicating that the cycle is set to begin anew. Did this story spook you out? 
let us know in the comments below. For more horror movie recaps, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next one. Fear awaits you.